brush. How's the light? Can you guys see okay? Looks like there might be a little bit of a shadow, but not too bad. Mm -hmm. you no, know, the thing about liquid white, and actually liquid clear as well, it's just you only need a thin coat. If you put too much on it, it'll make your canvas too slick. Your paint will slide down it. Mm -hmm. Actually, I think I can turn on another set of lights behind me here in a minute. We finish this up first. So if you're out there, say hello. So I know you're there. Tell me how your day's going. Tell me where you're from. I'll tell you a little bit about me. I'm from Louisville, Kentucky. I grew up here, pretty much in the country. Uh, I graduated from high school and I went into the military, just like Bob Ross when he was in the Air Force. Uh, when I got out of the military, I spent most of my time as a military contractor until I came into the commercial realm in the 90s bringing a lot of computer knowledge with me. So, I moved back home in the, after that, like in the mid 90s. Ran a lot of Fortune 500 stuff and then I retired a couple years ago and took up painting. I uh, also write books. I've got 14 books, novels that are out there on Amazon under my name, so I don't use a pseudonym or nothing like that. That was kind of my artistic work until I retired. That and doing ceramics, I guess. I have to do ceramics. Hey, sis. How are you today, kiddo? All right. So let's just throw a little bit of sky up here to mess with. Uh, not feeling like too cloudy. Not feeling too cloudy like. So let's maybe we'll put a couple little little doers up in the sky. But so I'm just flattening the paint. Now today you might be able to see this better because I've moved the camera to the other side of me because I'm left-handed. Even though Facebook likes to turn all my stuff around backwards. But um, maybe we'll be able to see see the brush a little better. All right. So we got the liquid white on here. Let's just start putting a little bit of sky in here. <laughs> just use an X stroke to put this down on here. And if I change hands on you in the painting, well, just look by that. I'm pretty much ambidextrous, so I uh, switch back. I tend to switch back and forth. I'm gonna kind of drag it, pull this on down, pull it down a little bit on that side, a little bit darker on that. There we go. A little bit darker on this side. It's kind of loose and free. Alright, that looks pretty good. Will it be Christmas time pretty soon? You'll see me, you'll see me at Christmas time. We sound you something really good for Christmas. <laughs> You're going to be so surprised. You're going to be so surprised. All right, so got a little bit of phthalo blue on here on top of this uh, liquid white. Now let's just kind of uh, blend this out. I think I'll use a bigger brush. Let me just tell. It's a two-inch brush. So I'm just kind of medium pressure to this, kind of working from the bottom to the top. I'm going to leave some of that motion in there, so I don't want to blend it too much. Leave that motion up in the sky. So it kind of looks like clouds, even without like, the painting clouds. And switch hands again. Right, just barely touching it, barely touching it. 
Maybe we throw some water. Maybe we throw some water in here. So let's we'll see. I don't know. I don't know where it's gonna go though. I don't know what. I don't know what I'm gonna paint. Doesn't that sound familiar? All right. So let's see. Let's just put. Oh, we'll just put this down here. And if we don't need it, we'll take it back out. We'll just paint over it. A little bit more, maybe. On this side. A little darker down below here. Here we go. This is just a regular rolling Michaels canvas. Haven't. I don't usually like to paint on them too much if I haven't uh, gessoed them myself, which I have not, but uh, I intended to. I intended to all day, and then I got involved doing lots of other stuff. I had to start some doilies for my lamp collection, so. And I had some writing to get done today, so I just didn't quite, just didn't quite get my gessoing done. But I know you'll forgive me. Now you might might want to know though why I don't like to paint on them if they're not if I haven't gessoed them, and it's mostly because the gesso that they spray on this stuff is not very important. So that's why. All right. So we're gonna do some mountains today. Maybe we'll pick up a tip or two. Do some things a little different than most people. Around that, around that way. So we're just going to start off um, with some Midnight Black. So let me just kind of pull that out over here on the palette. And let's see. Let's just kind of... Mm -hmm. Let me think about this. Where do I want to put it? Let's put... So I think what I want to do is build like a mountain range and we'll have like a big facing mountain right here and maybe a secondary mountain right here and maybe kind of drift off that way maybe we'll see all right so I'm kind of gonna go it's gonna be really kind of a steep mountain though so I'm gonna kind of go horizontally here with my knife kind of lay that edge in there some brand new tube of, of uh, midnight black that I opened today from Bob Ross and it's not very thick that may make it hard to spread paint, but we'll we shall see. We shall see. All right. So let's just kind of yo vet. Hi Dorothy. Hi yo vet. Right. So these are not your run of the mill. You know, pull snow down the side mountains. It's going to be a little steeper than that. Maybe some Lord of the Ring type mountains. I don't know. Look at how that paint curls. It's just kind of running down the knife. I'm really a little irritated by that. I wish Bob Ross would come ink would get their act together on this paint stuff. All right, we'll smooth some of that out in a minute. All right, so let's pull, let's see, let's stick something else. Let's Maybe let's make this mountain up a little bit higher, perhaps. Like that. I kind of like that better. All right. I'm kind of scrubbing it in here. <laughs> I'm glad to hear Oregon didn't burn down. Man, you guys have had a rough season. I think about you guys almost every day. I mean, we had a big fire in Gatlinburg, south of us in Tennessee last year, and that was bad enough. But boy, you guys have just really had a lot of trouble. All right. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Well, hang on a second, guys. The, um, I told you to stop with that Bob Ross paint. I put it on the my palette over here and it's run, looks like linseed oil all the way across my palette. Just running right off of the pile. 
Ugh, what the heck? That's terrible. Mm. All right. We will, we, will, we will continue anyway. We'll, we'll figure it out as we go. We'll figure out how to fix it as we go. All right, no from this side. I'm not going to put as much paint because I kind of want it to fade out, you know. Out that way. Let's just kind of fade away. And then let's just kind of have a... Get a little bit of a valley right here. So this is going to be the foreground valley. Maybe punch another little mountain back there somewhere. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. All right. Rain is good. Yeah, you know, uh, there are a lot of steep mountains in, in Ireland, for sure. Staying away from that edge. I want to use that edge a little later. Get some of this paint out of this brush. I'm just wiping it on a paper towel. I watched an interesting video yesterday. Um, a lady was talking about selling art. Why is it so hard to sell art? I've seen a lot of different videos about that. And I, honestly, I just think with the fact that they can make just about any kind of art on a computer anymore, just print it on a canvas about a thousand times faster than we can paint them. And actually, the stuff they print, print is pretty good quality. I think it all comes down to the cost. We're kind of like people who uh, used to make handmade furniture. In that way. It's high quality stuff. At first we had a little bit of an edge because, you know, high quality stuff was better quality, but as time went on and mass production picked up, some things are, are, they're good enough. Let me say it that way. So, all right. So, yeah, that's a pretty good size mountain range. You got kind of like, I can see like a pass kind of going back through right around in here. All right, so let's start to put some highlights on this. So I'm going to use uh, not a lot of colors today, but it's going to look like a lot of... Oh, you're talking about... Um, David, you're talking about um, Anthony... Anthony's... Um, I don't know what's happened, actually. He, he hasn't uh, reached out to any of us uh, as far as what's going on. But he's got some sort of a uh, personal type emergency going on, and you know he he hasn't uh, deemed to share it, so we haven't really probed too much for that. But, all right, so I'm mixing up just over here on the side, so you know what I'm doing. I'm mixing up some some of this color. It's the dark sienna and uh, yellow ochre and some uh, titanium white. We're going to leave all that color in the knife, just like that. Because uh, we're not, if you overmix it, you're just going to kind of get mud. So that's not, that's not really what we're looking for. So we're just going to kind of. Now, a while ago, though, when you saw me using the knife, let me lay this knife down, pick up a different knife for a second. When I was laying this on and I was scrubbing it into the canvas, I was actually had my finger on the blade and I was pushing it down and pushing it down. Um, you don't want to do that. When you're highlighting. When you're highlighting, you want to hold the knife as close as to parallel to the canvas as you can. And as you bring it in, you'll feel the paint. You'll actually feel it touch. When it does, you just move it down. Whether now today, since this is going to be so steep, so steep, the um, we're not going to do a lot of uh, those long pulls, you know, like you see uh, people do on mountains. They kind of make those long curving pulls. We're not going to kind of do that. 
All right, so what we are going to do is keep refilling our knife, though, to kind of keep the color coming out. Now we're going to lay about, I don't know, three or four at least layers of color on here. And over here on this side, this is going to get farther away, so we're just going to kind of, kind of over here we're going to kind of scrub this color in a little bit. Because we're going to kind of push that back into this layer. I'm going to leave some of this black. Just leave the black on there. Yeah, Anthony, something's happened to Anthony. He'll he'll be back though. I feel certain he'll be back. Just got some kind of a family emergency he's taken care of. Hey Gene. Hey Tom. Tom, I'm sorry I didn't see your uh, thing yesterday until after after the uh, your answer to me about what kind of problems were you having with the uh, paint smudging up. So, um, you know, it's all got to do with the thickness of the paint. We're actually kind of dealing with that right now with this particular painting. The um, There's a lot of the paint that was under it. The black paint that we first put on here was not very thick for some reason. It came out of the tube pretty thin, actually. Too much oil in it. Could be why Bob Ross is changing companies. I don't know. Changing their, their paint supplier. Um, but anyway, now if you get a tube like that, you don't ever necessarily have to throw it away. The whole tube's not bad. Um, you just want to, if you're wondering why I'm moving around, I'm trying to create a little bit of a more of a random. The more of this I create, the more of it I see. So I'm just kind of trying to randomize these slopes a little bit. This is just the first highlight color. We'll put some more in here in a second. This is just yellow ochre and uh, uh, um, dark sienna and some a little bit of titanium white. Let's put a couple touches here. And let's pick up now. I think on this side here, we'll pick up. Start picking up some more sunlight again. So we're going to have just a few of these slopes are going to pick up. So when we start with this, with this type of a style, when you're putting this, these uh, mountains in here, you want to make sure that you have a lot of contrast. Uh, the more contrast you have, the, the sharper, the more clear, the, the closer the, the mountains kind of look. You just let them dry. Well, yeah, that'll do it. That'll do it. I was watching... Uh, uh, Tim, I think, uh, what is it? Tim Gagnon was painting the day, and he was using, um, he was painting some stuff, and, and he was he was leaving a couple hours. He was actually using a uh, liquid, liquid to uh, make it dry faster, but he was still leaving a couple hours in between coats. All right, now on this side, we're just going to kind of scrub this in. It was coloring a little bit as well. We're going to fog that out somewhat. All right, now let's see. Maybe we need a little bit of, of color. Not a lot of color, but a little bit of color, like just... Maybe right just like that. All right, now let's take that same color. <laughs> let's put a little bit, even more, a little bit white in there to that. I scooped up too much, too much color though. There we go. All right. And where you've already created these highlights, you're gonna have, you know, put a little bit, maybe just a touch, those little, little sparklers on there. I'll tell you what, before I, you know, I'll tell you, before I put that brighter sparkle on, let's do this. Let's let me empty the knife out here first. Let's come back with um, some of the darker contrast so you guys can see how that's going to flow out. So this is straight midnight black. It was the original color we put on, but we brushed it back out with the midnight uh, black, with the uh, liquid white and the midnight black. So it causes it to, to turn a little purplish. So we'll just put a few shadow areas in here like this. 
And that, that really sets the contrast up off a little bit more. And you can actually put some of that in where you put some of the other highlight too, you know, it'll give it, give it some more depth. But it really starts to make these things start kind of to pop up off, pop off the canvas. <laughs> this part here will just kind of buzz that out a little bit. There we go. No. Yeah, I've heard that about the shadows too. Uh, doesn't it really doesn't create a problem for me? You get used to you get used to painting. You know, once you get used to painting, I always like. I was just saying before when I first started I, this uh, video that I was talking about, I should maybe turn on another set of lights behind me. I think it probably would have done away with some of that that shadow and more for you guys than for me because it doesn't really bother me all that much. I've, I've painted enough paintings that I just I'm kind of kind of grown used to getting a feel for what I'm putting on the canvas. So. Mm. All right. Let's put a few more. Let's come up even just a little bit lighter, even a little bit light, more light. I'm just so the paint's getting kind of thick here. So as you put these on, make sure that you're not laying too much paint down at any one given time. You can see there's still. As much as you saw, that's probably about half a dozen strokes there. We still got quite a bit of paint on the knife. So we're not laying down a lot of paint at one time. Now, let's suppose, I always like to talk about this. When, uh, let's suppose that in your mountain scheme, you wanted to add another slope in here. All right? Just like, oh, maybe there's one that's a little bit closer, maybe. It's up to you, but look, it's pretty simple to do. Let's come back in here. Let's find some place we want to put it. I don't know. Let's put one like, let's put a smaller slope in like right about here. We'll just kind of scrub this in. Take a little extra paint off. Let's add a little bit of dark color in here. Randomize that a little bit. All right, now let's put a slope in there. So you can kind of change this however you want, whenever you want. And of course, you can always you can always take stuff back off and put it back on. I don't know how many of you guys ever do have done that, but it's pretty cool. It's pretty easy to do. It'll, it'll take a lot if you learn how to do that. It'll take a lot of stress off your painting. You won't have to worry about messing something up. Because in all honesty, using oils, oils are very, very forgiving. All right, all right. So let's just kind of tap the base of this, and not tapping it so hard that you're gonna rain the stuff that you just you want to tap, tap, tap. You want to leave some of that, leave some of that stuff under there. You just put in there, right? Kind of move that brush up and down. You know, we could add a little darker color right there. Let's do that. I think right there on that, that side of the mountain, that would look kind of cool. Let's kind of shade this in. Maybe even add a little bit of just a spice of light right here. Da, 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 like that. There we go. So you guys, uh, how many of you guys like to paint mountains? I mean, you like, do they give you trouble? Do you, are you having any trouble with them? I mean, you got, uh, look at Bronson's on here. She's a Bob Ross instructor. She can, she's, a, she's, she's the real deal, man. I learned a lot from her. All right, let's clean the brush. Yep, sometimes it does just make for a happy accident. 
All right, let me just wipe this brush out. We'll start figuring out what we're gonna, else we're gonna put in here. <sighs> let's see, let's see. Well, you know what? I think this would be kind of cool. Let's put a little bit of a. <laughs> I love doing this. I love just kind of making things up as I go. As far as topic, subject, so let's just kind of add a little bit of a little something right here. Little something coming down. Now, when you go to you make something steep, we're pretty, pretty vertical right here in this um, painting. Make sure when you, if you start to, I'm just going back and softening this. Make sure if you, uh, if you start to hook your mountains, that that you pay particular attention to the slant, because. make a lot of difference not so much on the undercoat as it does on the base coat because the undercoat doesn't really tell you too much other than here's where the edge of all the different slopes come to hi Logan yeah kind of like that that same kind of a kind of same kind of a mountain kind of a thing all right let's see let's put before we move on from the mountain I'm gonna pick up some pure titanium white here and I'm just going to put it right at the top of this mountain. And right at this slope right there. And then you can just like There we go. And maybe just a little bit right there. Right. Yeah. I don't want to do that too much. Don't want to show up there too much. All right. Just a, just a little bit of highlight to pop off of there. All right, so let's mix up some color. Let's mix up some mm, sap green and a little bit of. I got this uh, dark sienna on here, so I'll just mix some of that. Mix these two up a little bit. <laughs> Mixing them up pretty good here. All right, and then maybe. Pull some of that aside and we'll just take that and we'll make it just a little bit lighter. The reason for that is we're going to push this out. We're going to use the same color over again in a minute to make some closer ground. All right, so again, we're not, we're not over mixing this as you can see, right? See, there's a lot of colors on this knife. So let's get a fan brush. Whatever size pleases you, I, I'd recommend you try several different sizes till you get what you want. But um, let's start putting some trees in here. So let's kind of start mm, right here. I think I want a little more green in it than that. A tad more green, just a just a bit. So I'll just mix that on the brush as I go. I think it'll be easiest. Yeah. All right, so I'm just taking the edge of the brush, the edge of this brush. Let me see if I can show you here on my little plexiglass thing here. So we're just taking the edge of this brush like this, this fan brush. Let me move over here where you can see. And we're just using the edge of it, just like this. Just pulling it. Hopefully, hopefully that, that's helpful for you. All right. So let's just kind of... Be sure all your trees are not the same size as you're putting them in here. Very, a lot of variation going on in the forest, so make sure you make sure you have some variation. So we'll darken this same color up as we come toward the toward us. We'll begin to darken this color up some more.
Hey Andy, how are you today? Now this side here, I think I want to take this side, uh, tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this one inch brush, and I'm just going to brush lightly over this mountain here. Just brushing up slightly, just barely, 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 barely touching the canvas. And the more you do that, I'm going to throw it over, get another clean side of the brush. I'm just going to kind of soften this part of the mountain over here. Make it farther away. Make it farther away. Now you can start, maybe you can see. How much what softer that is. Maybe we'll do the same thing over here a little bit. Let's do it a little bit. Just a little bit. And you do it soft, because if you don't, it's gonna blend all that paint. It's gonna be mud. Alright. Okay. On on third train this year. <sighs> so I'm gonna do add a little bit of green. It's always a good idea, especially if you're fairly new to painting. It might be always a good idea, I don't know. Uh, I'm not, I haven't been painting long enough to know how. But to uh, step back from your painting just every couple of minutes and just kind of take a look at it, see if you're getting what you want. In this particular instance, there's some, some open spaces here that I don't want. So I'm just kind of closing those up a little bit. It, it, you know, um, I've only been painting for a couple of years, um, but I, I've learned from so many different people on video, watching people on YouTube and that stuff, now Facebook. So I'm going to just a little talk about it. A little bit of painting right to this. I'm just going to start making some, making in a little bit of fog here, just a little bit of fog. We're going to put some landscape in front of that too. So many watching so many people over the years, you know, just it's really been. I'll tell you what, let's just pull this down. Let's pull some of this color down into what's going to be our water here. And we'll just lightly brush that out. We'll add some more color to this in just a second. So, you know, a good, cha a good challenge for you, for yourself is to um, see how many, how many layers you can create in a, in a painting um, and kind of let that work for you. All right, so let's, let's put some landscape in here and we'll just do that by pushing some. So we're using actually some of the same color we just used in the threes, but it's a little bit darker. That's about all. We're just going to put the color down on here first, and then we'll, we'll do a little bit more with it here in a second. All right. Now, you can leave it like that if you're happy, or you can just kind of take it and pull it up just slightly like this. It'll kind of create like a little weed looking things all these little thousands and thousands of little things if anybody asks you, you tell them you did them all with a, a hair hairline brush I, uh, I wouldn't know the difference two years ago it would have, would have impressed me <laughs> they do don't they i mean you just keep adding layers and you know it just it, the depth just it's really awesome all right, so let's go, let's take some, start off with some dark, straight dark sand. Let's put a little bit of landscape in here. And then maybe we'll start throwing a couple, not a little bit, a little bit more landscape. So I'm just going to kind of start right here for the moment. I don't want a whole lot of land showing up on this side, but I do want some.
and you can see, uh, you can see here, if you look on the knife, you'll see that the, the paint's starting to build up here. Can you see that blue in that color? So we're just going to wipe that out of the brush. I mean, out of the, off the knife. I'll put some more down. Right, so let's just kind of keep this going. It's kind of a curvy this way. I need to get my finger off the knife after I just told you not to do that. Let's put some highlights to that. So it's it's a good way to think. You bet if I say something wrong, you feel free to jump in there and go, well, wait a minute. I can I can use all the help I need. It's always a uh, light on your darks and then always make sure you've got like some kind of a highlight over the top of it, which will give you all that contrast that you want. So you probably can't tell from from sitting where you are, but you can from where I am sitting. Um, there is a little piece right here on this that looks like like this might like be like a marsh land coming around that little bit of marshy area over there behind this. All right, I don't want a lot of highlight on this side too much. Okay, let's put. <laughs> Excuse me. Let's put some. Let's put some. A little bit bigger trees. Not not too big, but a little bit. So we'll pop pop a little couple of fir trees in here. So I'm just going to pick up some of that color that we used uh, in this front in this layer right here, along with some midnight black. Just make them kind of a little bit dark. And let's just put a tree or two in here. Just one couple. So let's put one like right here. So I want to come up into that fog. And then I want to lay this tree down. So we're holding the brush here at a little bit of an angle. Let's tap, tap, and then move back to the center and tap again. All right, ta-da, we got us a tree. All right, let's put a couple more in, just a couple. I don't know exactly where we'd be going. Let's see. Let's put one. Let's put one counterpoint to this great big tall peak, or maybe just a little bit off of it. That'd be better. Let's that'd make your eye pop over there. What do you think? You guys see that? I didn't say I couldn't paint. I had it. An art teacher that told me I couldn't paint. <laughs> yeah, that's a long story, but it's true. Actually, what she said was, it's too bad I didn't have any talent. <laughs> that's okay. Uh, you know, don't let people tell you that, because I'm telling you, one day at a Bob Ross instructor camp, I mean, one day at a Bob Ross class, and I haven't put my brush down yet, so. All right, we'll just put one more tree in here. All right. Now, I want to come across from where I just put those trees in. Let me think about this. No, never mind. I, don't, I decided I didn't want to do that. That would, that would not be true to the thing here. What I was thinking was, maybe I should put, uh, let's just move some paint around here on my palette for a second. I need, a, you know what I need? I need, a, I need a, an online class in palette management. <laughs> <laughs> I use paper palettes because they're a wreck when I get done. Oh my gosh. All right, so let's put some, we're just going to put some water lines in here. So, you know, we just took a bead. Now you can do this with, um, I'm just putting a bead of, of, of pure titanium white on here. You could use a lighter color if you want, uh, but we're just going to put some water lines in here. Keep your knife horizontal. You can also do this with um, liquid white. Uh, it works. I prefer to use just titanium white because liquid white's a little too liquidy for me when I'm usually when I'm painting these. So. Um, you can expect when you're when you're putting them in that you're going to pick up some color. Um, and I am bearing down with my finger on this again because I'm bending this knife and just, just kind of stretching this paint off of it. I'm kind of moving it up and down because in doing so, you might be able to see here how the, the shoreline has moved back where that shadow is. Now it's moved forward out here. 
Now it's starting to move back a little bit right there. So now let's put a couple more on here just for the heck of it. Let's I'm not sure where the rest of the what the rest of the line is gonna be, but I'll tell you what, let's just put a couple on here for now. We're gonna make these soft, so we're gonna rub over them a little bit. We're gonna leave that sheen out there that we got for now, I think. Maybe I'll tell you what though, let's uh, let me show you a technique that I like to do. Hey Dee Dee, how are you today? I'll show you something I like to do. Um when I'm painting water is you can see here on this side perhaps where I picked up some dark and dark I kind of like to, to stick some of that you know out here in the middle too I like to add some dark dark streams in like that just, just in a few places not you know not too not too much not too much just a little bit then you can take that and I'll just use I'll just use a brush. brush. Take that one inch brush and you can just kind of pull it from the outside in. Like the, just like when you started. It just creates these little islands of, of blue in the sack. Just gives the water you know, some deep, some more depth. So we still got our little glistening line there in the middle. But we still got our got these other darker. Now, if Bruce was on here, I'd say there's some fish. There's a fish underneath those blue lines. He'd probably like that. Okay. Okay, okay, you'll bet. I'll see you then. Hey, Jane, I didn't see you earlier. Did I miss anybody else? I hope not. I, I love talking to you guys and finding out where you're from and what you like to do. All right, so... <clears throat> What do you say? Let's think about. Let's go back to the midnight black. Let's think about. Let's think about. So there's a, there's a couple little, several things we can do here with this layout. Um, there's probably more. There's probably like an, uh, an unimaginable number of things that you could do with this kind of a layout. Um, but you could just go right across the bottom here and make, you know, uh, um, you know, reeds and grasses and stuff just like right here at the bottom. Like you're standing on the shoreline looking across the lake. Uh, maybe put a tree on that side. Uh, you could put a... You could put some islands out there in the middle if you wanted to do that. So maybe stick a tree on it, like right in the middle, or over to the side if you wanted to do that. Now, if you did that, you put the island in there. Make sure you put a water line on it to, to go with it, uh, just to show that it's floating around out there in the water. So let's just, uh, though, let's, uh, let's make a spot. I'll tell you what, let's come up to about right here. I've never tried this before, so let's, this, is, this should be just like challenging. Here we go. Here we go. All right, this is my bravery test. All right, so painting this in here right here. We're just going to add some color. Throw some black right over the top of that water. Oh, Ben, you've done it now, haven't you? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. We will find out in just a second. All right, we'll just kind of scrub that color in. I think, let's pull it out a little bit farther. Let's pull it out a little bit farther, and you'll see why in just a second, maybe. I hope I never get to the part where, I, where I'm constantly laying my stuff out on paper. I do, sometimes, I, I do things on paper, but only because I'm trying to work through an idea, and, uh, and, and seldom does what I put on paper ever show up as something for real. So, all right, but let's do something for real. Let's take... Back to our knife. And let's go back to our our burnt umber. Let's go back to, to the titanium white. Let me get a little bit of this uh, color, this uh, yellow ochre. Throw a little bit of that in there. I think I need a little bit more dark sienna. There we go. All right. Let's just kind of start pull this forward a little bit. Let's just kind of start pulling this down. So 
So I'm just kind of continuing to mix the color on the side. And in those silent moments when I'm not talking, running my mouth, that's what I'm doing over here. I'm just kind of, I'm kind of pulling away from the edge from the top a little bit because I think uh, I'll put some grass up there along with that in a second. This should be, this could be interesting. All right, let's gonna take a little bit of black and add to that just to put some shadowing in there. Maybe a little bit more. But I decided I need some more, I'm gonna have to get some more out of the tube. All right, yeah, okay. Hi, Rosemary. Hey, Arbor. How are you today, sir? Kosovo, right? Isn't that right? Did I remember correctly? Let me know. I try to remember where people are from. So if I don't have it right, don't let me remember it wrong forever. <laughs> Rosemary, how are you today? All right. Now, I'm kind of looking at this. When I'm looking at you guys, when I'm looking at your version, uh, this doesn't quite look quite horizontal. So hang on a second. Although your camera is a little bit crooked, but I think it's not that crooked. Let me add some more color in here. Let me raise up. Let me raise up one side of the cliff, and you'll see why in a minute. All right, so let's raise this up. I'm just gonna come on, come on. Okay. All right. I'm getting to where I like it. Man, I'm doing. I'm doing. I'm doing really good. It's been a great day. I've been busy uh, doing like a million hobbies. I got. I, I uh, cooked some starch this morning for my doilies. You guys can see like I've had several people mention the the lamps in the background that sit up on the wall there. Almost all of those lamps are rescue lamps. They're off in the 19th century. Um, I rescue them and and. Uh, bring them home and restore them and then donate them to historic homes and museums so that they, they can, can live on. They'll still live on long after me. I used to have 600. I think I'm down to about 500 now, but uh, we've, we've placed quite a few places like Biltmore and other places like that. All right. So let me, uh, before we get a little going over here on, on what we're doing over here, let's a little bit more. Let's take just a little bit of this yellow. And I may have to. Yeah, it's not gonna stick. All right, hang on. All right, so guys, all right, let's let's let's, let's test each other. What sticks to a thicker paint? Come on, you you should know. If you ever watch Bob Ross, now you should know what sticks to thicker paint. How do you get paint to stick if it doesn't if it won't well, if it doesn't want to stick? I know somebody knows. I'm just mixing a little bit of color here on the side. While we're waiting. All right, you mix it with a thinner paint, all right? So I just put a little bit of liquid white out. Just to add a little bit. I don't want too much because these are still pretty far off in the distance, but I do want to kind of show them off a little bit. Gary Jenkins. All right, now I have somebody famous on my channel. Now it's time for me to get nervous. Hey, Gary, how are you today? I love your videos, man. I really do. You guys are incredible. All right, so let's lay in some of this. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's figure this out for a second. I don't want to get too carried away here, but let's think about this for a second. Maybe we will put... Hey, Catherine. You guys are super. I love to watch your channel. Just, just super. All right. So let's take advantage of it. So this is kind of moving out this way. So, so you can see it's moving up this way. So we can actually take and put water lines out this way. And this will give it the effect that it's pushing out, right? So let's come in about right here. And just kind of 
Scrubbing a little bit of a line. Screw in a little, little bit of a house right there. Just lean in the color here for a second. Put this on with a brush, I think. I think it'll be easier. So a flat brush. Oh, good reason to get a super cool way to use my. Oh, do you? Hey, I we'll have to check that out for sure. Is it a particular topic? Or is it is it more of a general general nature? Because excuse me, I'm just trimming this house up a little bit. I'm just going to let this get darker back here. We'll put, most of this is going to be hidden, actually. Buy another tree. So we'll come back to that in a minute. Well, maybe, we'll just, maybe we can finish that. A snowy white owl, double rooster paintings. Oh, okay. That sounds exciting. There's so much good art these days. So many different ways to learn things, I tell you. All right, let's get back to putting up some, putting up some trees, guys. Let's put a tiny one out here. Let's say I'm gonna need some more paint. That's what saved me. Hang on. All right, it'll take it a second. For once, I actually know what all my different paints are today. All right, let's put a little guy out here. Well, let's put the paint out there and it's super soft. So if you didn't, if you join, if you just join, we were discussing earlier, I got a new tube of Bob Ross paint today and it is just not firm at all. I'm, I'm really surprised. Usually it's, it's not too bad. Leave that sit for a second and decide about the other layers here. That's good, Rosemary. Difficult, difficult is difficult is growth, right? All right, so we just turned that into some shadows. Let's just put some water lines in here. I'll tell you, let's 
just uh, spoke earlier about putting an island out here. Maybe we should maybe we could do that. Or maybe at least well. Okay, let's just put like some land like this. We'll put closer to us. There we go. So we'll, I think what we can do here, what we'll do here, is we will let, um, Some different colors. All right, so let's get uh, let's put a little bit of highlight on this. A little touch up on this little house thing over here, real quick. Just putting a little bit of a hint of a shadow along this side. Maybe a little bit of a hint of a door in here. Maybe a window or two, maybe. Just to kind of. Nothing too fancy. All right. We'll get some highlight in our trees. And I think that'll finish the layout anyway. Let's put some highlight on the trees. I don't want to use a lot of highlight here. Mm, put a little bit of liquid right here. But let's put some highlight in here. Let's keep it subtle. Just adding a little bit of blue on this side of this tree. Maybe we'll just put a little bit of that in there too. All right. Let's put our water line in on this other side, and then we'll come back and finish up with this stuff on this side. All right. So we're just gonna get some titanium white on a knife. Now remember, even though this is moving horizontally. Now you're moving at a diagonal across, you want to keep your knife straight laying these water lines out. And you can decide when you put them on if you want them if you want them to be softer 
just lightly brush over it and with a brush and it'll, it'll come, it'll soften. If you want to just have a little bit more texture, then just leave them like they are. All right, let's get some other colors for this tree, though, that we haven't used yet. So uh, let's start with, let's start with some orange. Let's start with a little bit of orange. So this is cat orange, medium. And we're kind of tapping it on this oval brush until it kind of creates a peak. I'm just going to kind of tap this in here. Just like that. All right. Now I want to change that up just a little bit. Hey, Yvette. Well, we're percolating here. We're getting getting toward the end here. All right, we're going to add just a little bit of yellow into this mix. Same kind of thing. We're just kind of tap, tap, tap in this brush. And you see, there's not a lot of paint in the brush, but it's 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 pretty loose. It's pretty thin. I'm just going to add a couple of little highlights. Come down here. Just kind of let that fade away down here. All right, that looks a little too you know, stampy. There we go. So that clean the brush. We're gonna pick up some more orange and kind of break this up. So all the different options we talked about, we could do with the foreground, we didn't do any of those. So <laughs> as I said, there's probably a countless number of ways that you can go about what you want to put on there. So uh, I think I just want to add a couple more water lines and then I think we'll call this done. So let's just kind of covered a lot of ground today. Talking about mountains and Laying out some water. Well, that's pretty good. I hope y'all got something good out of this. Alright, I want to soften those lines just a little bit. You heard me talking about that a minute ago, so here I'll show you. So these up here I want to be a little more textured because they're closer, so I can see them a little better. But this one here I just want to kind of smooth it. You see it pushes it back farther, it pushes it back just a little bit. And you can make that as soft, you can blend it all the way down to exactly what you, how you like it. How you like it. All right, well, I think we'll call that done. Any other questions before? Okay, now listen, be sure you share this video and, it, and you click like. Tomorrow at the same time, and I'll go through and if you live in the United States, continental United States, you have a chance to win this picture, this painting. They're here. It's an 8 by 10 It's called Deep Orange Sunset. So we're going to give this away. This will be like, I don't know, maybe our 10th or 11th giveaway. But anyway, uh, so share, like, uh, or both. If you do both, you get two chances to win. And tomorrow at the same time, we'll announce the winner. And we will ship it right on out to you in the continental, if you live in the continental United States. I can't ship beyond that because it costs too much. Something new on Tuesday? Okay. Be sure you watch Yvette's channel. Be sure you watch Gary Jenkins' channel. Catch him up on Facebook. All those guys are superior painters. They really are. Uh, love to watch those guys. So, uh, i got one more thing I want to do before I leave. I think I forgot that I like this other little tree over here. He's, he's feeling lonely. Let me pick up a little bit of cat yellow. And a little bit of, little bit of white. This might be too bright a highlight, maybe. 
might have to go back and I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. There we go. All right. All right. So that is a wrap. And I will see you guys again on, what's today? Tuesday? Uh, I guess I'll, I don't know. I might see you again this week. Uh, if not, we'll be, we'll be here on Sunday. Thanks for watching.